First, double click on the DNR GPS icon to launch the software. Once the software has been launched, click on the GPS menu, as this is where all of your GPS activities are focused, and then download all. You will be presented with a list of all of the GPS data files which are on your GPS. In this case, we're just going to grab one of the demo points we have loaded. Click on the name of the point, highlight the file you would like, and then click on the OK button. and OK to confirm. When we click on the File, then Save To option, we'll see that there are many choices of types of files that we can save using DNR Garmin. In the File menu, there are many, many types. In the Database file, we have PostgreSQL, GeoDatabases, and Google KMLs. We can also save files to web services as well as, using the ArcMap submenu, save files directly into our ArcMap table of contents. In this example, we're going to save an ESRI shapefile. Click on File, then Save To, but realize that we have two options. Number one, we could save the file to somewhere on our hard drive and then add it manually to ArcMap, or two, we could save the file and have it added automatically to ArcMap. So to do option one, save to and then file. Pick a save location, as well as giving it a name that makes sense. And notice that the save as type is set to ESRI shapefile. Click on the save button and then OK to confirm. Option two, slightly different, click on File, Save To, and then ArcMap before we click on File. In the same way, we need to give the file a name and select the folder, click Save, and then confirm with an OK. Notice, in an ArcMap document I had open this whole time, the original shapefile from option one was not automatically added to our map, but the shapefile from option two was automatically added.